in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade WordPress uh, when you have a, a problem upgrading automatically from your admin panel uh, the process is upgrading manually so the first thing you need to do is download the latest WordPress and uh, save it on your computer and I'm going to save it in one of my file you need to save it wherever you want so I'm going to save it in my G drive in my websites folder and once it's up saved and uh, you got your 3.1 downloaded you're going to go into our cPanel log into your cPanel account and uh, the first thing you need to do is back up your database so we go into PHP might mean and then in PHP might mean you'll see the database list down here and I have my one down here so we click on WordPress we're going to export the database uh, select all on that one make sure it's highlighted and uh, you can leave the rest as it is and then click on save as file and then name this file whatever you want so I'll just say upgrade and then press go and I'll ask you where you want to save it I'm going to save it along with my other files in the same folder so I know where it is and then save and once once you have your up, upgrades your database backed up we can go back into our cPanel and go into file manager and the process is that we got to re replace WP admin uh, and the rest of the folders and the files so the only one we don't want to uh, delete is WP content because that's where your plugins are themes everything your images everything is saved in here so what we're going to do is create a folder and move those to say upgrade and create a folder and what I'm going to do is move this folder down here into into upgrades folder so what I'm going to do is drag it down here and put it in upgrades folder and now the upgrades folder would have WP content the other thing you need to do is uh, save the config configuration file so I'm going to drag that one down here into the same folder okay. 
and the third one is the htxs file uh, right now i don't have htxs file saved here and we need to see the hidden files so click on here so it shows me the hidden files and now i can see the hidden file so i need to push that one into our upgrade folder so we save this one and put in upgrades folder as well so we check back again and see if we got those three folders here here so i can see it better there we are we got wp content saved we got htxs file saved and we got wp conf configuration file saved those are the three that we need so once once we've done that we can go back into a public html and delete everything delete this one and uh, delete this one and delete stxs as well delete everything that has got WP and delete this one and all the WP files I've deleted all the WP files that I don't need because those are the WordPress files. We're going to upload the new 3.1 on WP contact and to do that we use FileZilla and connect onto my server. And we're going to open public HTML and upload that folder, uh, the WordPress folder we just Upload this one into our public HTML folder. So you just drag it and upload the file into once once it's uploaded and. Uh, we can get out of FileZilla for now and refresh our cPanel and we should see the zip file in here scroll down and there it is
highlight the folder and extract the folder. What we're going to do is extract the files into public HTML. And once it's extracted, we're going to close this one and it should be in a WordPress folder. So everything that we uploaded is in a WordPress folder. So we're going to move this one and everything into our HTML. So I'm going to highlight this one and move the folder into public HTML. Uh, same with WP content. And everything else as well, all the files. So we just highlight the files. We've got the index PSP. Move everything onto public HTML. Uh, WP content folder, that's the one we have in upgrade. So we're going to move that back to because that's our one. This one doesn't have anything on it, we'll only have the default themes and the plugins and we don't need that so we go back into our upgrade folder and then move everything into public html so you can drag it down and put it down there Now we open public HTML and we should have WP admin, WP content and everything. Check the file permissions on each one. There should be 755 and then 644 on the files. If once you've done that, we need to go into our URL. close this one we can close this one As it is that I had already updated before, so it would, it doesn't, it tells me no update required. But in your case, it will have uh, update, and then you press continue. and my site will open uh, you can go into WP admin and 
login and it should be updated. I hope this video has helped you on the how to upgrade manually for your WordPress.